Howdy, you. Today I've got a replay for you between Weaklings and Stieglitz. This replay was sent in to me by Weaklings, uh, but I play with Stieglitz more, so I'm going to take his point of view. <laughs> um, I know both of these players, uh, and I play I play a lot with both of them. Um, Stieglitz is Shadow. He usually plays Shadow Frost, and Weaklings usually plays Pure Frost. Stiglitz takes the first ball, so does Weaklings. Um, against Shadow, is Lightblade the best choice? Because Nox Trooper does a lot of damage against Lightblade. I don't know. But then Lightblade can uh, cancel Nox Trooper's attack. That's probably the right choice. Um, yeah, Stiglitz is dancing around, trying to see what's going to go on. Weaklings is waiting. He's going tier 2, and Stiglitz takes a ball. So Stiglitz wants to stay tier 1 against tier 2. I fully agree with that choice, especially if Stieglitz carries uh, Night Guard. Um, in fact, I might take Night Guard and pull it out right now. Um, instead, he's... I'm not sure what he's doing. Okay, he's, he's dancing around. I would... I don't know, because if you, if you approach Light Blade, you give up, and then he takes a ball. So that lets him go tier 2. He's playing pure Shadow. Interesting choice. Um, by the way, uh, Weaklings said this game was wormy, which might mean it was just a kind of weird game, but I expect to see some worms. Uh, which, what, tier 4 Shadow Worm? I hope. <laughs> Actually, I kind of hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, so Stieglitz has gained some slight power advantage by having his well up longer. Uh, it's very minor, um, and he's got fewer power in tier 1. So. He gets a, he's not getting a shot in Light Blade. Looks like this Storm Singer is trying to get a well. Um, Light Blade's coming over here to heal a little bit. Um, and another Storm Singer coming up. Storm Singers are so good, you guys. <laughs> um, Stiegel is content to sit around. I think maybe it's because he doesn't usually play Pure Shadow. So, okay, he takes a well. But maybe he just doesn't feel that comfortable because he uh, doesn't usually play Pure Shadow. Um... Freeze there. Tread Charger is attacking these. That was actually a surprisingly good nasty, actually. Um, he wasted the Cobalt Trick and the Frostbite, and then the 110 simply killed that. So yeah, that was all really good. Um, Shadow Mage is going to kill this Light Blade, but this Light Blade did a good job killing the Shadow Mage over there. One win condition you need to think about against Pure Shadow is that Shadow Mages only have a few Chargers. Um, like 12 maybe so you can totally run them out of shadow mages okay, right now wells are even Stiglitz takes a well uh, he might it might be that he doesn't want to go harvester because he's afraid that weaklings carries lyrish knights I think weaklings actually does carry lyrish knights but uh, I don't know personally I don't think lyrish is the strongest choice of a card for pure frost but I mean what do I know I don't play pure frost pure frost is for sure, my worst deck. Um, I don't think the Shadow Mage should be attacking, though. Uh, he should be saving this attack for, a, um, what do you call it? Uh, I mean, a Storm Singer, or more importantly, a War Eagle. And actually, because it is pure Frost, using a Night Guard, even in tier 2, I think is actually a pretty good strategy. Um, it'll force, I mean, I don't know. Night Guard's not that cheap. It'll force the War Eagle to attack something else, but he can freeze... And Pure Shadow doesn't have the CC to counter counter freeze. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not a good thing to do. But yeah, both of them are going to high power levels. Uh, in my opinion, the best tier 3 is Frost, Frost, Shadow. Um, like a combination of Shadow Orb and two Frost Orbs. That's, in my opinion, the best one. Um, Pure Shadow has some stuff and Double Shadow is nice because of Evocutator as well. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, everybody has taken all the wells available. So now the only escalation is to go tier 3 or to play Harvester. Uh, Scream kills the Shadow Mage. This Storm Singer is sitting there. And we've got two squads of Dark Elves coming for this War Eagle. The War Eagle retreats. So Weakling still has a little more power bound on the field. Which means that Stiglitz can go tier 3 or play a Harvester earlier. 
Um, he plays another Storm Singer, and Stieglitz has gone tier three. So, yeah, it's hard to say. He's going pure shadow tier three. Uh, I don't know the most about pure shadow, but in my opinion, it's strictly inferior because I think Gregory is just better than Satin Nail. And I mean, Woodstorm can be okay in the right situation, but um, I wouldn't. I don't know. Shadow Mage had a missed attack, and uh, Weaklings is still tier two. So Stiglitz may be able to get a nice attack going with this Oldest Master. Um, unfortunately, he's playing Coldest Master against the War Eagle. Uh, the War Eagle is going to eat those guys for breakfast. Um, he's probably killed the Cultist Master here. Meanwhile, this guy is chipping away at the well. He got the Evocator's World, but it looks like the Freeze came out just before that. So that was uh, very nice for Weaklings. Uh, and these guys are going to die in just a second. He's got his tier 2 going up. Uh, so Stiglitz can try again with the Nightcrawlers. Um, but the Freeze might be ready. I, th I think... Yeah, there's the Freeze again, right? Um, Okay, he's going for attacking here again. Uh, I think he should play just like Smash Bros or something to kill the War Eagle. I, I don't think Nightcrawler is the best way to approach Tier 3 versus Tier 2 when the Tier 2 has like basically the best M counter in the game. Um, yeah, and he can heal because he's not playing a Loki as well. So, uh, okay, there's the Loki as well. Um, he missed the Ashbone, so that's good, but the Ashbone's walking around and it looks like the Lavish are going to be able to kill him, actually. Stieglitz has a lot of power. If he had played, like, two or three Ashbones instead of just the one, this would have been a different story. Um, he's playing Cultist Master over here. And he's got a Cultist Master over here. Um, again, I'm not... Yeah, the Cultist Master is getting frozen here. Uh, Timeless One is just better than a Freeze. So... Weaklings maybe just didn't feel like he had time to spawn a Timeless One. Um, timeless One's also really dumb because you can play, I mean, I don't know if it's dumb. Evocator's Will is kind of dumb, but you can play a Timeless One in an Evocator's Will and still get the freeze off when you can't get a normal freeze. So uh, this tier three matchup, actually, what is, his, his tier three is Pure Frost. Again, I don't think there's a reason to play Pure Frost instead of like Frost, Frost, Shadow. Okay, there's a Sat Nail. Um, Stieglitz still has uh, fewer power bound in, in units, so he can get the Satin Nail going, but this guy is going to freeze him, and that's just kind of bad all around. Um, snap draws. I think the other Satin Nail is better. Units deal 200% more and take 30% less damage when it's around Satin Nail. Okay, that's... Yeah, um, this Tremor going to push. I find it difficult to think of how... Okay, nice, nice uh, nether warp. But um, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to... Okay, okay. With the Satin Nail for defense, looks like he's going to do okay. And uh, North Star up. So North Star plus the Timeless One is a really powerful defense. It's really hard to punch through that. Uh, yeah, so just based on the tier 3 matchup now, I think it's pretty hard in Meekling's favor. Uh, yeah, and he can just keep hitting at this orb. He, I don't know why he changed. He can just kind of push here. Um, but okay, so this now now now, uh, Stieglitz has a nice, strong-looking attack going. Um, if he see, he's got the Evocator's low, so he doesn't really need to spread out, right? He just needs to play the Evocator's low, so he can't be. Well, never mind. <laughs> There's Cultist Master, so he can be frozen. Uh, I lied. Um, yeah, so this is this is just such a tough matchup for for Shadow. Uh, Core Dredge. Uh, maybe that's what he meant by worms. Core Dredges are honestly like pretty bad. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just two two tremors is just better. So, I mean, he's got the tremors, but. Gregory is better. I just I don't I don't know what a core dredge like adds to your deck, except the ability to shoot air. But you're pure frost, so if you really 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 need to kill like a spitfire or something, 
I don't know, you can play like a Sky Elf Templar or Storm Singer for Gravity Surge, yeah. And this is gonna drop. Um, this is almost dropping. Is it dropping? There's no way it's not dropping. Why isn't it doing damage? Oh, he healed. Okay, the okay, there's a little out. Uh, that felt bad. Um, yeah, so... This is... You just can't punch the defense. <laughs> um, he probably should be playing Void Storm right now. Um, yeah. I don't, know, this, I don't know. He can almost kill this guy if he like ran at him with... Yeah, never mind. Wood Storm is not really effective now. Did it dodge? Yeah, he dodged. Um, Shadow Mages can be dodged, so you should have played like Dark Elf Assassins, I guess. But yeah, this is Quirtridge is coming here. Uh, man, I really, I really don't know what to do in this matchup. Um, both of them should have played a better tier 3, in my opinion. Uh, here's another core judge coming here. There's two. So now I think it makes sense to play uh, Voidstorm. So Stig was better be playing a Voidstorm because there's literally no reason to play this deck without Voidstorm. Um, why did he... Okay, if he wanted to kill this, again, play a Voidstorm. Don't play a Corpse Explosion. So maybe he's not carrying Voidstorm in his deck, but that's just like, man, <laughs> the only reason to play three Shadow Orbs is for Voidstorm. Yeah. Stiglitz is back down to tier two. He played the Harvester, which is not an XL counter, but I mean, I guess he's not going to be knocked back. Uh, it's hard to say. I, I, the game is pretty over by this point. Um, he's going to get a hit in. Is he going to try and do that nasty corpse explosion thing? Yeah. Oh, almost. Almost. Uh, so close. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this game's uh, weakling. This takes it with a tier three push, and it was it was scary for a while. But I, I think Stiglitz pushed with the wrong units. I think uh, against Frost tier two, I think Ashbone is the way to go. But if you know better than me, oh, that's cute. He's healing up with the ice barrier. This guy who had thirty health. Yeah. Um, I mean, if he can get this up, well, he doesn't have Woodstorm, I think, because if he did, he should have played it earlier. But, uh... Yeah. Alright, so... This replay is wrapping up. Let's go ahead and speed it up for the last couple seconds. And, uh... Yeah, so... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this actually kind of unusual matchup. You Hardly ever see triple frost or triple triple shadow. So uh, triple frost versus triple shadow. And it seems obvious to me which tier three is better in that case. Thank you guys for watching.